Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we will talk about database, one of the most important part of our course. And in this video, you will learn how you can interact with Prisma and um, save data in database. It is very really important to understand the structure of database and how it works. That way, it will be easy for you to um, manage your data. So let's start. In the previous video, we learned how we can handle form data, submit it, and handle it with Remix. So let's save this data in database and see how it works. Before I talk about that, you have to know that Remix in this template is using Prisma. Prisma is a very popular ORM. If you don't, if you are not familiar with ORM or all this type of thing, uh, this is how I normally put it. Uh, whatever you do with your database, ORM will take care of it. From your database structure to reading data, inserting data, updating data, and deleting data, all of that will be handled with the Prisma ORM. And it is for Node.js and it is really easy to interact with data. In this video, you will learn how easy it is. Okay, cool. Uh, let's check the project um, structure and where all our data exists. I'm just running the app behind the scene, uh, nothing too fancy. Now, uh, all I um, did was just npm run dev. Cool. Um, the database structure is all inside the Prisma folder. And by default, Prisma recommends you to create a Prisma directory and then you put everything here. Here is a database called dev.sqlite and SQLite is a file based database so it can exist anywhere in your application. Since this is uh, for database, you can put it directly in the Prisma directory. Next up you have the schema.prisma. This is where you will write all the structure of your database. It is not going to be only for the structure of your database. You are model if you are reading data. Uh, with the um, Prisma client, all of them will um, inherit those data from this is schema. So if you have a table called session, um, you will have a model called um, session. If you have a table called post, you will have a model called post and you can read data from database with all these fields. That is the structure of your data. We will um, create an example in a few minutes. But there is um, a file called migration. In the migration directory, you will add all your migration information. What is migration information? When you run, when you add the structure um, of your um, database here, you will run a Prisma migration div. It is going to read this uh, schema file and it is going to create a, a migration for them. For example, you have this migration, there is a folder and inside this one you have a migration file. This one is for session. This is basically your database structure. And when you run this, it is going to create this structure and interact. And that is how you can um, tell your database provider what is my structure of the data. Because schema is for you to for you to be able to write um, very clean database structure. But the migration that this SQL file is for the database. If your database is Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, or whatever, this data will be sent to to those database. To create the table um, yeah that's it and if I come back to the Prisma and currently we have one session and two migration this one is what I have added I'm just going to delete this um, okay move to trash and now I'm going to create a new um, table just for testing the data if I duplicate this record oops again I press something that I shouldn't <laughs> Okay, cool. And uh, this is, I, I just copied the above table and let's give it a name of setting. And uh, normally people capitalize it and a lot of people also pluralize it because settings will store more settings. I will not do it because um, let's do it or let's not do it. It's okay if you do it, but I will just pluralize it because your data will store more information. It is about consistency, how you will can be consistent. As a Laravel developer, we always like uh, pluralize our table. So I'll do that in this also. Again, I'm going to remove this information. Um, we need a shop, which is going to be the sitting related to the shop. That should be relational, but you can read more about this in the Prisma, the structure of the database. If I come to the Prisma database, go to quick start. They have um, how you start from here, everything is written uh, for you and how you install it, is this is a div dependency for our application. I'm just moving myself around. 
Um, just to let you know, we have Prisma Climb, which is interacting with database, and we also have Prisma, which is installed here. If I scroll down, this is the structure. They have a user and post. If you want to create a relationship between user and post, this is how you can do it. For this example, if I come here, we can do that for now. Let's, since this is just for testing, I'm not going to do, go into relationship for now. Let's give it a name, and this is going to be the name of the setting, and this is going to be string. Um, the ID could be a string also. They have written it as a string, but ID is normally um, an integer, the same thing that they have integer, but yeah, this is shop file structure. Whoever did this, um, description is going to be a string and when you pass this uh, question mark at the end it is nullable or optional if you, if user does not provide any information it's not going to give you an error but these ones are not nullable these are required so you, you must have uh, data for that that is the basic structure right of our sitting of course in real world you will have more sitting a lot of them here and you will also have a key for which uh, shop is this. You will store the shop ID in this database and create relationship. For now, let's just um, go with the simple structure. I'll save it for now. And uh, next up, all you have to do is you have to migrate it. You have to provide something like this. You can use npx, of course, uh, but I'm going to use npm and you will run the same command of dev in here. So I just copy this command and come here, npm. We'll paste this hyphen hyphen and name uh, for the name you are going to give it a unique name of whatever it will be it is very good to have a convention if you are updating a field you will say the name is update x field for example you can create a migration and update the field and it is going to create a migration for you in here it is a bit difficult to understand how migration work but basically once your database is structured in the production you have a lot of customer when you want to add a field you are not going to restore your data because you will lose everything okay you are going to add a field so for that field you will create one migration that could be add field to setting something like that since we are creating a new table we can we can just say create settings table something like this this name will be saved as a folder so you know what this migration is doing I'll just run this and okay do we have a prisma package npm prisma migrate hmm I don't know what is this um, error saying do you mean npm prisma yep migrate dev okay cool let's run this command and see what is the error uh, okay I forgot to enter the run here Again, I'm not going to strip this out in the video editing because yeah, all of this error, you will learn a lesson from them. This error says that your SQL database is here, but the structure like sitting table was previously. Before I record the video, I added some uh, basic structure so to prepare the video, but these are here. So it says you have a migration, but it does not exist. What I do is I reset this. It's going to create a fresh data for me. And now if I check the migration for the new one that we have created, it's called create settings table. This is the structure of our setting. Once you do this, uh, the next thing is you have to open the Prisma CDU. Prisma CDU is a nice way of viewing database. We have this div.sql. If I open it, it is going to open this because I have an extension for my VS code that view the SQLite file. But I can run npm run prisma studio oops and it is going to um, open prisma studio for me I hope I spell it correctly and it's studio will be open in a new tab and this is the local host and it is going to uh, give me all the information about my models currently i have two models one is session one is sitting think of uh, models as a database table you can open sitting uh, session is currently empty because we reset our database we had a record for this app now if i refresh my app it should recreate that data for me 
uh, that is the good thing about um, the, the session database it will just redirect me to another page and it should recreate the um, data for me if I come here and refresh it this is my session if I add another uh, table called sitting sitting is completely empty for now let's come back to the sitting page and now let's update this data in database and see how we can do this okay cool if I go back to my code structure yeah you understand this is our sitting table um, I will go to my app and if I open the DB server this is where we import our Prisma client we Shopify have written this in this data in this file you can import this file anywhere and then you will have access to the Prisma Prisma.create you can just search in the database and find all the data that you want let me show you how, what I mean uh, it is not used currently anywhere so I'm going to use it in the settings so let's open settings and I'm going to import it in here let's put a comment of import db um, prisma or prisma db and this is going to be the import of course this is not the structure um, where is the, our database we are in the root directory it is just one folder um, back so we will go to one folder back and this is our server the db and that is how we import now db will have access to all models um, I showed you the model that currently uh, how many model we have if I create this we have these two models session and settings now let's access um, settings and see how we can read data from here okay if I go back to my database and this is the loader in the loader I am going to read the data from the database I will remove this and instead of this I am going to use um, await setting find first so setting is going to be the model name this is what I mean when you pluralize or not pluralize if you are table is sitting you have to write sitting if it is settings you have to write it settings and the find first is under the the prisma references i will show you what does it mean it is going to just search and get the first row on the database and pass it in the setting and then you will have it let me console.login here to see how the structure will be setting and this is going to be the settings and again i'm going to um, as you know this is going to be run in the in the server so I have to have this information in here you can see the setting is currently null because we don't have any data cool we don't have any data but that's fine if I come back to my app you can see okay property of name is not because um, you know we have used name in here but name does not exist because it is empty now the same thing as description let's make them optional and let's come back and it should load the data properly yeah it's working fine and this is empty now when, whenever we add something and save it let's save it in the database how easy that would be right uh, I'll go back this is our action this is our setting which is the data and in here I'm going to update the database okay cool now how do you update the database we don't have any information I can just use the same structure that that um, um, copilot gave me where ID is equal to 1 and pass the data first thing ID in the database it is a string so since this is just an example let's pass it a string secondly we don't have one we don't have an ID of one is is it going to work no it does not because you cannot use update because update only work if you have the data now how do you know that you can come to the reference section of here let's search for um, find and let's go to the see how what is the structure of the data that we can see under the references um, you have the prisma client api in here you can see all the model queries for example you have the first which is going to get the first row make sure you did this doc this is very important and you have update you have uh, you have create you have update you have absurd now the good thing about this is um, absurd is going to create the data if it does not exist 
so these are the the required field and this is going to work i'm going to come here and instead of um, update i'm going to use app search and this is where we say if it exists but it accept three parameters which are required create update where where is already written instead of data we are going to say update and also we are going to pass the oops again i did the same thing i can't use this shortcut and this one is going to be create these are the field that we want and it is going to store the data in the database if it does not exist you can read more about upset in the documentation but that is basically how it works now let's come back i will open the console to see if we we get any error for now we don't have any so let's clean up everything let's say this is my app and let's put some descriptions let's save it and we get a database error i'll go back to this and see what is this error if i scroll up a little bit it's going to say create that id is missing ah okay cool what could be the problem we have id we have name we have description and yeah we have where everything looks good let's go back to the documentation of prisma and see the example that they have provided this is where and this is everything we have ah, I, I got it right and uh, now you see we update this data the ID that we have in the create let's check this out we pass the we, we say like the ID but the ID is empty we are not passing the ID that's the problem that's why you have to make the ID auto increment if it does not exist it should auto increment we don't have it in the session but we have to do that in this one I'm not going to change the structure of database instead for now let's come here and pass the id id of one and in this one also that should be a good lesson for both of us right to learn that uh, the database structure should be correct now and uh, this time if i come back to my app let's wait this is uh, my app name some description let's just capitalize that for now and save it do we get any error no we didn't get in fact we have to get a, a little notification we will work on that in the next video for now if i come to come to the prisma go to the settings ah here is the data that we have and now if i refresh my page or go to any other route i'll just close the, the logs to see everything is in sync this is my app this data is coming from database I think that's very really easy to interact with database. Insert, update, delete, or any other thing. And this one, uh, you can remove the comments. I hope this video has been informative. In the next video, we will put everything in a practical world example of how we can save data and work with the um, front end of our app to add the wishlist icon in the front end. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.